Dear classmates, welcome to the VOSI testing class. Today we are going to introduce an important concept in BIST, that is phase shifter. Although BIST has many advantages, however, we still suffer from structural dependency problem. This picture shows a simple stump architecture. We have an LFSR which generates test patterns for our circuit. This LFSR feeds four scan chains to the circuit under test. However, due to the shift feature of LFSR, the bits on the diagonal lines are identical. So this one is equal to this one, and this one must be equal to this one. Because of this feature, the stuck at zero fault becomes untestable. So how can we solve this problem? It was proposed to insert a phase shifter between the LFSR and the CUT. On our left, we see the original stump architecture. On the right, we insert a phase shifter between LFSR and the CUT. The phase shifter is a serial to parallel converter. It shifts the face so that each scan chain is phase shifted by S cycles with respect to the reference scan chain. Suppose the yellow scan chain is the reference scan chain. And the second scan chain, the green one, is shifted by four cycles with respect to the reference scan chain. The third scan chain, the blue scan chain, is phase shifted by eight cycles. The phase shifter sounds like a good idea. It removes the structural dependency problem. However, how can we implement this phase shifter? Surprisingly, phase shifter can be easily implemented by exclusive or network, as shown in this figure. So what's the reason? If you still remember, one M sequence property is that the summation of two M sequence is actually the same M sequence but with different phase shift. Please note that the addition here is actually a mod 2 addition which is an exclusive OR. That means if we take the exclusive OR of two LFSR output, we create another M sequence with phase shifted. That is the reason why we can design a simple phase shifter to shift the phase among different scan chains. So how can we design a phase shifter? In this problem, we are given an N stage LFSR where the T is the companion matrix. We have the column vector Q, which represents the state of LFSR. We know that state after X cycles can be represented by T to the power of S times Q. Given a reference scan chain, B is a selection vector which is equal to B0, B1, B2, and etc. Bi equals to 1 means 
QI is the reference scan chain. So the reference scan chain output is simply B times Q. We are now asked to design a phase shifter, which is a row vector P consisting of P0, P1, P2, and etc. P1 is 1, means that there is a tap point coming out from flip-flop QI. So, the phase shifter output can be simply represented by P times Q. We know that the phase shifter output is shifted by S cycles with respect to the reference scan chain. So we can have this equation. PQ is equal to B to the power of TS Q. If we remove the column vector Q, we now have a simple equation that the phase shifter P is equal to B times T to the power of S. So this is how we design a phase shifter. Now let's see an example. Suppose we are given this LFSR, which can be represented by the characteristic polynomial 1 plus x plus x to the power of 4. And the reference scan output is coming out from Q3. So now we have this companion matrix T and we have this selection vector 0001 which selects output Q3. Now if we want to design a phase shifter with x equal to 4, we need to multiply B by t to the power of 4, which can be b times this vector to the power of 2, which is equal to 0, which is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. That means we are taking uh, the tap point from q0, q1, and the q3. So this is the design of the phase shifter. If we want more scan chains, we can do the same thing to the other scan chain and we can design PS equal to 8, PS equal to 12, and PS equal to 20. For example, PS equal to 20 is 1010, 0, 1, 0, which means that we are taking the LFSR Q0 output and the Q2 output so that we can design a new phase shifter output which is 20 cycles phase shifted with respect, it, with respect to the reference scan chain. Now let's have a comparison. On the left hand side is a test pattern generator without phase shifter. We can see that on the diagonal line the bits are the same which results in the structural dependency problem. On the right hand side we show a new structure with LBSR and the phase shifter. In this new structure the structural dependency has been removed so the full coverage can be better. In summary, the phase shifter reduces the structural dependency problem and it increases the randomness. The area overhead of phase shifter is very small. Also, the phase shifter is able to support many scan chains more scan chains than the LFSR degree and some researchers claim that LFSR with phase shifter provides similar randomness as cellular automata. 
So thank you for watching. We will see you in the class.